Pretty much just to show you guys uh, what's going on, you see we have uh, 34 days out, okay, 6:26:17, and uh, what we're gonna do today is full leg workout minus calves. Uh, I do calves on another day, but well, the Crunch Fitness that I work out at has a really nice squat machine. So I'm gonna do obviously five sets of squat machine, four sets of leg press, four sets of leg extensions, six sets of seated leg curls. Oh, there's my cat Gizzer biting. Giz, hey buddy. And then uh, I'm gonna do five, or uh, there you see four, um, four sets of sumo deadlifts to really get my, you know, glutes, which everybody wants those shredded glutes on stage, right man? The time is 4.53 in the a.m. Couldn't sleep, not that I'm getting up super early, I just couldn't sleep and so I figured, uh, why not go to the gym? When I get lean like this, for me personally, this level, I start struggling with sleep, I have a hard time sleeping. And so one of the things I do is, you know, if I have to get up for work at, you know, seven and be in work by 8.30 and get my meals done and everything before I leave, and it's 3 o'clock a.m. and I can't sleep and it gets to 3.30, I'll just get up. Um, I'll play a video game or something or watch TV until, you know, quarter to five. And then um, I'll just hit the gym early, I mean. Clean squat, plate loaded, final set. Uh, I did five sets here. And as you can see, I have a pretty narrow stance. I've been working the narrow stance a little bit more, I kind of just like how that feels and uh, I get more quad out of it. If you'll notice, I'm only using 25s, uh, that's because I'm a normal human being and not everybody can jump 45 pound increments each time. Uh, for me, 25s does, does the job just fine, I mean, that's a lot of weight right there, I think I have four, three or four on there. Um, so I got a really good pump out of these. It was a great way to start off the workout, honestly. I know you can't really tell uh, just from the angle and I'm wearing sweat clothes and stuff like that, but I kind of do most of my squatting and deadlifting with a rounded upper back. And for me, that puts all the emphasis on you know either my legs or my upper back. It totally takes my lower back out of it. Um, that's just something that I've been doing for a really long time and honestly it's, it's kept me injury free and it's the way that squ the squatting or deadlifting feels the best to me. Um, one piece of advice I can give you is your body is your own body. Nobody else can feel the inner workings of it. So if something feels good to you and it may not look right to somebody else, maybe it doesn't feel right the way that they do it. That's cool, man, because it's your body and only you know what you're feeling and what you're experiencing. And so I would take, you know, any form advice with a grain of salt because, you know, forms are different, man. I hate to say it, forms are different, but they just are. Um, another thing to note uh, right here at the end, this is, you know, my this is my big movement of the day. Honestly, I usually start off with the first movement being like the big compound. And so what I like to do is uh, just a double drop set and I'm only doing partial reps. I just get a really good burn out of those and I really love uh, starting my work off slightly. Workouts like that. Okay, moving along. Uh, we're gonna go right into uh, leg press and uh, I can't really see it, but I have my feet positioned high and decently wide. I'm letting my knees um, come below my rib cage. Uh, and pressing through my toe. Uh, I know a lot of people preach drive through the heel for the quads, drive through the heel for the quads, but in all honesty, man, when I used to drive through the heel for my quads, when I was driving through my heel, I was feeling it in my lower back and I was never feeling it in my quads. I almost never felt a squat in my quads. I never felt a leg press in my quads. If I felt anything at all, it would be hands and glutes and lower back. And so the way around that is, press with your big toe. 
um, but at the same time, you want to make sure that your foot is staying down on the ground, okay? So you, what I do is I drive through my big toe and I make sure that my heel is on the ground. Now, if your heel comes up a little bit, so be it. So be it. Now, you know, it's not the end of the world. And eventually, you'll develop enough ankle flexion so that your foot will stay down. Um, so after that, I moved into leg extensions. Um, pretty high rep. I stayed uh, around 20. And I did utilize a rest pause on that as well as the leg press. Um, I did four sets of leg press. And then I moved on to four sets of extensions. Uh, right here, you'll see I'm doing some seated hamstring curls. And honestly, I gotta say, I love this crunch uh, hamstring leg curl machine. To me, it's one of the absolute best. I love how it feels. It's perfectly designed. I can really squeeze you know, my leg like a bicep. Um, it's just awesome. So I did six sets of that, and then my final movement of the day is in fact barbell deadlifts. And again, you can kind of see my form. I have that rounded back, uh, rounded upper back, but the lower back you'll see is, you know, pretty much like uh, neutral. Neutral is the word I'd say. Um, you know, when I first started lifting, I would do this like insane arch, like arch till it hurts, like hashtag arch, arch till it hurts crew. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> And honestly, my lower back is always killing me and shit. So this is just the form that I got working. Now I did four sets on these. I think this top set was 285 again. I'm just using the 25 pounders because honestly, man, heavy weight, you hear somebody say heavy weight, that's a relative term. Heavy weight to me might be super light to somebody else, you know, and vice versa. So this felt heavy as shit to me today. So I did four sets, of course, pyramiding up from 135. Um, and I did this one conventional, but the three sets preceding it, I did them uh, sumo with the emphasis on, um, you know, again, pressing through the toes, but then really like pushing my hips through at the top, squeezing the glutes. Maybe I'll get a glute line one of these days. And then, um, as always, after I'm done hitting the weights, I'll go in, do a little bit of, of uh, posing. Um, so here you'll see I'm doing a little bit of flexing. And uh, after that, I hit up 15 minutes of cardio, and that was a wrap. So uh, here's my first video. Once again, you know, if you watch this, if you got anything out of it, cool. If not, no big deal. But